This video is going to show you how to thread a Neki 535FA. Um, also probably applies to other Neki models. Uh, similar design. Um, I'm also going to show uh, threading the bobbin case. Um, basically with the machine you've got your spool pins on the back side. You want to make sure your your motor is engaged so your nut bounce wheel nut is turned all the way clockwise so it's locked in drive. There's a couple thread guides. One here, another here which leads down to your uh, thread tension, another guide just above the tension, and then your thread take up arm has a hole through it. There is one more thread guide down inside here. And then on the top of the needle, which we'll zoom in uh, to show you that, and then the, down the needle itself. Now your needle has a groove on the front edge because that's where your thread goes through. So when you place your needle in, make sure you can feel it with your nail. Uh, make sure that your groove on the needle is facing towards the front. So basically we're going to start with our bobbin case which has a little groove here. Let's see it inside. Which comes up in this direction. You take your thread, which is on the bobbin that coming over top of it, you want to go opposite direction of that groove. So you pop your case in pull your thread through there's a little there's a tab here just get it under that notch and there's a tensioning screw if you need to adjust your tension it should hold itself in place and then down here is where the bobbin case pops in make sure your needles in the up position and then the bobbin case just pops right in locks in so for threading we start with our rear spool pins, which I do a little zoom in here. And then we come through to the first thread guide, uh, which is actually a, a uh, curled thread, so a curled guide. So as you come through, you just wrap it around this way, you go one loop, and now you're through the loop. Uh, and then the next one is coming forward. Same thing, you pull up under, wrap around once, and then you're through. Now you have your thread tension down here. And this is important inside. You can't really see it, but there's a spring inside here. Uh, you probably want to hold your thread in place, either by the spool or here. Come through your discs on the tensioner. And then come up, and then you'll see, you can see the, a little rod coming across here. This comes all the way up, and then your thread gets locked into a little notch down up top here. <clears throat> After that, you have a thread guide that goes up to your take-up lever that just pulls from uh, back to front. Then you go through your thread take up arm going right to left we come down here's another thread guide and that one basically just there's you slide it in this position and then pull it to the left and it's in and then you have your th lower thread guide so you come around from the left side, pull forward, and then it threads through the needle from front to back. Now I have one of these needle threaders in here already. Save a little time. Put your thread through there. It pulls through. Get it under the foot. Rotate your machine, 
one revolution, pulling the your balance wheel, turning it counterclockwise. It pulls the thread up from your bobbin. You close your cover. Pull the threads through. Give them a clean cut. And now you're ready to sew. And you make sure you close your nose. And there you have it.